Today we're going to learn about the three major food groups. Yes, you heard three. I know most people think that it's four, but in actuality it's three. Furthermore, they're at different levels because, let's face it, not all food is created equal. For example, at the very, very bottom of the spectrum, we have pet food. And pet food, of course, is not fit for human consumption. Now, don't get me wrong, I have three pets and a wife, so I love animals. But pet food, I wouldn't serve it to anyone I know. Now, the next level that we have coming up, this is called the salad level. Now, salad, you know what it is, but you notice how it overlaps the pet category. That's because a lot of salad is not fit for human consumption. The very basis for salad is lettuce. In fact, they don't even call it lettuce anymore. They call it iceberg lettuce. They want you to get this thing in your mind that iceberg lettuce is so appetizing. In the summer, you could just envision iceberg lettuce, a round head of lettuce with little beads of water falling down that are very, very cool. Okay, but it's really just lettuce. Now they chop the lettuce up, and that's your basis for all salads. So that's why a lot of it, salads, it, it falls into the pet category, because salad, some of it, can be used for pet food. Rabbits like lettuce, gerbils like lettuce, so it's not fit for human consumption. And then they did something not, not too long ago, they come out with something called the wedge salad. And what the wedge salad is, they don't even take the labor anymore of cutting up that lettuce. They take the head of lettuce, they chop it once, turn it over, chop it again. You got it in quarters now. And they serve the whole quarter, and they put a little dressing on it and croutons and bacon bits to disguise the taste of the lettuce. And they call it the wedge salad. And that's supposed to be shishi today. But it's all part of the salad group. Now, I might add as well, we have to understand that within the salad group, there's also fruits and vegetables. We don't need any of that. You don't need salads, you don't need fruits, you don't need vegetables. Some salads do have some merit to them. Like maybe this much of the salad family can go if you have a grilled chicken salad. Okay? That has a little bit of merit. Not my favorite, but it has something in it. But it's still within the salad family. Now, up here, we have the meat group. Now, you'll notice right away, there's a large gap between the meat group and the salad group. In fact, there's nothing in between. That's because some things in life have to come in at a distant second. And salad is a distant second from meat. And not all meat is in the same category. Some of it on the very, very low end, this much here, we can call that fish. Okay, because some fish, if it's fried, is good, but it has to be fried. On the lower end of the meat spectrum, we also have chicken. And chicken can also be good. Not only if it's fried, but you have to have the skin. The best thing about the chicken is the skin. People will tell you, don't take off the skin, take it off. You don't need it. It's cholesterol. It gains weight. Nonsense. The chicken skin is the best, most flavorful part. My favorite part is the carcass because you get a lot of skin on that. Finally, everything else in the meat category, that is the essence of life. At the very, very top of the meat category, you have dry, aged beef. That is what heaven will taste like when you get there. So if you don't want to wait, try it now. Dry aged beef, filet mignon, powder house, New York strip, all that is excellent. You don't need the fruits, you don't need the vegetables, you don't need the salads. Stay away from the pet foods. And this, my friends, are the three main food groups. Bon appetit.